there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to use some crayons and some deli paper, and we're going to just make some fun designs on the paper. So I've got a mixture here of um, the Twist Up Crayola crayons, or Twistables, I guess they're called. Whichever, I think they have more color in them, more pigment in them. And then also I've got some of these... Um, uh, just your regular, you know, back to school, 50 cents a package Crayolas, which also a lot of pigments, pigment strength, and they're just like so much fun to work with. And I think you can do some really cool encaustic effects with these. Here, like if I draw that, that heart there, I can do a little shading. I can grab some other colors. These, um, the Twistable Crayons, actually all the Crayola stuff was 40% off at AC Moore. I went in there today, I was killing a little time waiting to pick kids up from camp. And, um, oh my gosh, that's so fun. And they're 40% off, so I thought, geez, it's a great time to test some stuff out. Now I really wish that I got the a big set of 64 crayons or 120. Gosh, what are they up to now? They have an awful lot of uh, options now. But with like all the hubbub over the um, Paper Crafters crayons out right now, I thought that... You know, I really just wanted to see what I could do with my plain Jane crayons. And turns out you can do quite a bit. And the, the cool thing is, like, once you take it off the heat, it dries really quick, just like you're using a crayon. And I know a lot of people have done the um, crafts where they melt the crayons using a hair dryer onto canvas boards. I actually found that using a heat gun works a lot better for that because it doesn't blow the, the wax all over the place. It actually just kind of heats it and melts it up much better. So if you do have a heat gun, that does work a little bit better for that technique if you've been wanting to try it. But as soon as you warm this up again, you can melt it. And it's just a lot of fun to play with. Now I want to use some lighter colors because I want to try some spray resists. So let me just kind of let me make a big starburst down here. Start with some neon. I got the um, the special effects colors on um, it was on Amazon about a month ago, and um, they're a lot of fun to play with. These are the mini twistables, and then today at EC Moore I got the um, just the regular the regular mini twistables. But this will honestly work with whatever crayons you have. I'm going back back and forth between these and just the regular cray uh, Crayolas. So this was this is kind of fun, fun experimenting. I think my kids are gonna like this. You just have to be careful if you are letting kids do this that um, that they don't put their fingers right on the hot plate. It is it is pretty warm. I think with the candle warmers or coffee mug warmers, I don't think you're gonna get a serious burn. I think it's gonna you know be hot and you're gonna move your hand, but I don't think it's really gonna be too serious. And you can see how I think this is a little more transparent. The uh, these I think they have a little bit more wax in them, which helps them melt quicker, but also makes them. Um, makes them a little bit more translucent. And let's see, just put a, I just want to kind of make some, just some random patterns, because I want to try spraying over this with some spray mist, and I haven't tried that yet, and I want to kind of do that on one that I'm not too, <laughs> too um, invested over. And of course we'll do some white, because that will kind of show up like a secret message when we spray it with the ink. That'd be kind of fun too. You could do like a secret message and have somebody ink it up when they when they receive it. All right, well, let's just see how that looks with the um, with the spray ink. I don't even know if this video will get published or not. If we're all just be like, okay, that was interesting. Nobody needs to see that. But yeah, you never know. Sometimes something you think that you know isn't going to be interesting to anybody ends up being very useful to some people. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. And this will probably take a while to dry. And you can see everything kind of resisting and beating up on the crayon. But I think it almost wants to beat up on the paper a little bit too, because it is that waxed, the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, the deli paper. So it does have a little bit of a uh, moisture proofness to it. So I don't know how this is going to look when it dries, but it sure will be interesting. I can kind of just blot it off onto the wax area. I think it looks pretty cool. So there's just something else you can try with your supplies. It's always good to find another idea and to um, get them a little more use at, out of them. Especially since you bought and paid for them, you might as well use them. No point saving it for a rainy day. They go a long ways. So yeah, that's kind of fun, I think. And this is the one that I probably won't eat because I really like the way it looks so far. Maybe I'll stamp over it, I don't know. Um, there you have it, crayons on a hot plate. Two cents, I don't know. What was that, shaving a haircut? I don't know. Uh, it's late, I'm going to turn off the camera and say goodnight and ask 
for your thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, until next time, happy crafting.